Recent tragic incidents involving trains in the valley are a shocking reminder that people need to take responsibility and take safety seriously around trains. CBS 4's Patrick Shalvier has more. As Texas continues to grow, so has the mix between the public and trains. However, with that growth comes a rise in collisions. According to the Federal Railroad Administration, Texas led the country in 2016 with over 230 highway rail grade collisions, 22 of them resulting in death. If you're in a vehicle and you're stopped on top of those tracks, if a train does appear and begins to approach the area, you will not be able to move out of the way in, in time in most cases. Union Pacific says one reason is due to the sheer size of the Lone Star State, but it isn't stopping them from raising awareness, all in an effort to lower those numbers. Pay attention to the warning signs uh, and the white lines on the road uh, so that they can remain safe. Union Pacific says many times drivers ignore laws and for a number of reasons choose to either beat out an oncoming train or stop their vehicle on warning lines at crossings. For a train traveling 55 miles an hour, it'll take more than a mile to stop. The law says that you should be stopped in, at those safe distances and if you're not, uh, you can receive a citation for it and we hope that that is something that people will pay attention to so they don't have to pay a ticket but they also don't have to uh, pay the ultimate price. In Harlingen, a man died after witnesses say he had been sitting on the tracks when he was struck by a train. Union Pacific says they want those kinds of incidents, though sad, to be a reminder that next time you come near train tracks or crossings. Their life is worth the wait when it comes to stopping and waiting for a train to pass. Rather than try to beat a train or try to outrun it or cross in front of it, just take the minute and appreciate that your life is worth waiting. In Cameron County, Patrick Shalvier, CBS 4 News and ValleyCentral.com. According to the Federal Railroad Commission administration, that is, the casualty rate last year was at the highest level in the last decade. 